अनावतु सहनु भुनक्तु सबीजम तरवावसी तेजस्वी नावधी तमस्तु माविद्युषावसी ओम शांति 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 ही ओम कर्तुराज्ञाप्य फल कर्म किं पर कर्म सज्जम प्रतिमो दू पतन कारण फलमशाश्वत गति निरोधक ईश्वरार्पित नेच्छया कृत चित्तशोधक मुक्ति साधक काय वांगमन है कार्य मुत्तम पूजन जप चिंतन क्रमात जगत ईषधी युक्त सेवन अष्टमूर्ति देव पूजन उत्तम स्तवादुच्च मंदत चित्तजम जप ध्यान मुत्तम आज्य धारया स्रोत सा सम सरल चिंतन विरल तत्पर भेद भावना सोहमित भावना भिदा पावनी मता भाव शून्य सद भाव सुस्थिति भावना बला भक्तिरुत्तमा मन स्वस्थता क्रिया भक्ति योग बो दास्य निश्चित तो ईश्वराय अर्पित कर्म चित्तशोधक मुक्ते साधक सो दि कर्म दट इज परफॉर्म इन दि अवेरने ऑफ ईश्वरा विद दि अवेरने ऑफ ईश्वरा एस कर्म फलदाता एंड एस कर्माध्यक्ष So makes the karma into yoga, converts it into yoga, and that is mukti sadhakam. Even though that itself doesn't give you moksha, but that prepares you for moksha. Moksha being knowledge. 
knowledge being not a result of karma. And therefore, mukti sadhakam, he said. While this is general, in general, all karmas or or yoga, they all become yoga because of an attitude. But this attitude itself, how to build up this attitude? So even though an attitude is born in the wake of certain understanding, a relevant attitude. Like once I know this is a movie, then I stop crying, seeing an elephant there, a tiger there, a child. This is, this is how the father initiates the child into movie world. He takes the son and he says, come on, that's not a movie. <laughs> that's how he, father is a guru. And that once I know there's a movie, it's nothing, there's no reality there, then my attitude changes towards the screen. So similarly, the attitude changes, but still this attitude has to be maintained. The child will still be afraid. Take time to assimilate the whole thing. So from what we have discovered, it's clear while receiving the result of action, I have to be a devotee. Because I say this is prasada. Then the other one is while choosing the means of action and while performing the action also, I remember. Whom do I remember? So the Lord as the one who is in the form of dharma, while choosing. Then while performing the action also, this means, again, the means and the end are nothing but cause effect, which is again Bhagavan Surupailo. So this kind of awareness is not an easy thing to maintain. In other words, I become a devotee while performing action and while receiving the result of action. Devotee first and devotee last. So this devotee that you are, related to Ishwara, you are called a devotee. There is no other devotee, really. When you relate to Ishwara, you are a devotee. Let us call the person a devotee, okay? We will call, we will give a name, Namakaranam. We will give a name. The individual is called a devotee when he relates to the Lord. How? Like even. The individual is a son or daughter. Relating to the parents, the individual is husband or wife, so relating to the spouse. So father or mother relating to the children. So friend, neighbor and so on relating. So it's clear that related you become a son or father, mother or daughter, related. Unrelated, you are an individual. To look at yourself as a son or daughter, you have to look at yourself related. So, therefore, the status of being a son daughter is born of a relationship. Student teacher is again born of a relationship. That is why teaching is not a profession. So, the other day I was talking to the teaching. The, the trainees, they are called, they are teachers training, they are undergoing. And they always are told, they are told all the time, teaching is the noblest of professions. They say that. Teaching is the noblest. First you call it a profession, then you say it is the noblest, you know, the noblest of all professions, teaching. And this, in fact, is not a profession. If teaching is a profession, teacher is a professional. And a professional has a clientele. Without a clientele, there is no professional. And naturally, if teacher is a professional, then he has a clientele and the students become clients. You know? The teacher says, I have got 40 clients in my class. So, 
you don't look upon a student as a client. When you cannot look upon the student as a client, and you cease to be a professional. Purely, it is a relationship. So the student is a student because because of a relationship. To someone, he is a student. To someone else, the person is not. And therefore, the teacher also is the same. Therefore, you can't ask, "Can I meet a guru?" So there is no such fellow called guru. You can say, "Can I meet yeah, someone who teaches Vedanta?" I can ask. But you can't say, "Can I meet a guru?" But they, we are often, "Are you a guru?" <laughs> they ask. So guru as though a kind of a, a generic name or whatever. So guru is one for the student, and therefore that's a, like a father, guru. Now this is a. Then similarly, a devotee also is with reference to Ishvara. Understand this very well. So the devotee is a devotee related to Ishvara. Now, when I am son to my father and grandson to my grandfather, understand? Grandson to my grandfather. Therefore, same me changes completely, and my father is also he is a son, and he is a grandson. My grandfather also is a son, grandson, and so on. And therefore, I am grandson and son, and with reference to my own child, I become father. So that means this status keeps on changing with reference to different individuals. Okay. And therefore, so related to me, my father is only father. He is not son. And then related to him alone, I am son. To my child, I am father. If this is understood, then let us apply this to Ishvara. So when I apply this to Ishvara, then to Ishvara I am a, I am a devotee. Related. I'm, I call myself related to Ishvara. I am a devotee. My son related to Ishvara is what? Is what? Devotee. And my father related to Ishvara, devotee. My grandfather related to Ishvara, devotee. And my wife related to Ishvara, devotee. And my sister, my uncle, my cousin related to Ishvara is a devotee. My God, in a relationship, if there is anything that is absolute, you know, in a relationship generally nothing is absolute. But in a relationship, if there is here, if there is one which is absolute, which doesn't undergo any change, it is between the karta, the swasti karta, and the swasta. Swasta with reference to the body mind since complex swasta, and therefore. Between the Srista and the Srishti Karta, the Janya and Janaka, the Bhava doesn't undergo any change because Sarvasya Janaka Swat. Ishuraha, Sarvasya Janaka Swat. So Ishura being, so Sarvasya Janaka Tvam Asti, Ishurasya. The so Ishura having the fatherhood, the creatorhood, is, he enjoys with reference to every individual. Everything in the creation, we are talking about our relationship as a human being, and therefore, to everyone, he is the same Janaka. One may own him as Janaka, one may not own. That's a different thing. Once one is able to recognize, then he becomes Ishvara. I become a Bhakta. Janaka Janya Bhava. This is the bonding, the Janaka and the Janya. So he becomes the Janaka. And I am the Janya. Janaka includes also the mother. The father includes mother too. One caste, and I become the the Janya. So this Janaka is a level. Understand? It's a level of understanding. Janaka, Janya, Bhava, Swami, Brithya, Bhava. On this basis alone, we have the Sharanagadi Tattvam, etc. So of Ramanuja. Only at this level. He he stays at this level and he talks about it, and he doesn't believe 
any other level is there. He doesn't see any other level. And at this level, he is correct also. There is nothing wrong in that. He is a Swami and Vritya. Swami, Vritya, Nyaya. And that stays all the way. To so everybody it is the same. And therefore, Swami means the Lord, Vritya means servant. It's an attitude. Servant is purely a seva attitude. And he is the Lord, I am a Dasaha. So, I am a Dasa. This kind of a, an attitude, an attitude, a healthy attitude. And then again, that is a devotee. Therefore, let me call the Dasa, etc., all of them are included in the devotee. And therefore, the devotee's expression can be many. The devotee can be a friend, the devotee can be a Dasa, a servant, the devotee can be a mother. As I told you, you know, mother devotee, Lord Krishna is, is the Yashoda, is devoted to the Lord Krishna as a child because she knew this is not a child. She's not a baby like any other baby. And so she knew because one day she asked this fellow to open his mouth because he was eating all this clod of earth and dirt he was eating. And then he said, what, what are you eating? And he said, when he was looking. And then open your mouth. He opened the mouth. He saw stars, the moon, and the sun at the same time, and the whole jagat. You know what did she say? Shut up! <laughs> so otherwise she has to do namaskar. She didn't do that. So she became a devotee there. Ah, she became a devotee. What kind of devotee? Mother devotee. Mother, mother the Lord. Called Vatsalya Bhakti. Mother the Lord. Shut up! So that I love this shut up. And so this, so you make the Lord shut up. So she is mother, she wants to mother him. Why not? And therefore, ye yata maam prapadyante tam sataiva bajamnyaham In whichever form they invoke me, in that form I am available to bless. Lord says in the Gita. And therefore, so here, the devotee is is expressing in various ways, can express in many ways. But devotee, all right. And so, this devotee and Ishwara, they related, and that doesn't undergo change. Therefore, this devotee is someone, all of them are being related to Ishwara, enjoy the same status. There is no son, grandson, etc., Brother, uncle, cousin, all these relationships are not there with reference to each other. Nobody can say that I am more close to him, more intimate to him. Nobody can say only in your devotion you can be more intimate, etc. That is your feeling and your way, how much you understand, how much you absorb him into your life. And that makes you closer to Ishwara. Not Ishwara becomes closer and not you become closer. But your understanding of Ishwara, that makes you closer or lesser, away from it. And therefore, this devotee, so he is, he is the same for all. Therefore, there is no first cousin, second cousin to Bhagavan. There is no, there is no, there is no, you know, a remote guy, an unknown person, indifferent, someone is unknown, an acquaintance, and all these things are not there. And therefore, each individual is related to Ishwara the same way factually. Emotionally there can be different. Factually it is the same. Like even two sons related to father. So factually both are related the same way. But then one may be closer to father and that is because of certain understanding or affection or whatever and so that's a different thing. But factually it is the same. Therefore, everyone is related to Ishwara the same way. And converting, and that related person I call the devotee. And one who owns up that relationship is definitely a devotee. And that devotee is the same. And this is, in a, this is, this is something absolute. In a relationship, you cannot, you cannot uh, see something absolute. Because any relationship is Subject to, subject to be variable. But it is not same person, one person. 
So related, another person is related, he is then father. Even the same person is related differently. Like even now, for instance. So there is one, 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 one our, our, there is our president of America, Clinton. Then there is his wife. Is she called? She is called what? Hillary. 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 And then this Hillary is related to Clinton, first as what? As wife, as wife. But then she cannot, she cannot behave when she is outside the White House. White House also when other fellows are there. So outside her home, we can say, outside her home, she cannot relate and this, this as though she is, she is a, she is a wife. She has to behave as the first woman, first lady, because there is a protocol. She has to follow. The same person has to be uh, Mr. President. She has to address. So Mr. President sometimes he has to address, and therefore you can't say, "Honey, <laughs> in the United Nations, when all of them are sitting, and then this whole all the country people are all sitting there, and then she gets up, honey." I think what you said is not true. And you have been telling the same thing. I told you long ago. <laughs> and if I have got some understanding of Hillary, she is capable of saying much more. And so, and therefore, did I tell you? And therefore, what I say, so this, there you cannot talk honey, honey, etc. There is a protocol. Their thing is crazy. You know? And therefore, so there is a protocol. She herself undergoes such change. Now, with the reference to Ishwara, there is the, no, the relationship is absolute. It is not variable. What a thing! A relationship is there, and it is absolute. And therefore, that kind of an invariable relationship, if at all, we can see in relationship that is only between. You and Ishwara. If that is so, listen, listen to this. If this is, this is all very difficult to convey, I always try to. And to this, if this is so, then I as a person who, who is a devotee, now if it is an absolute relationship and it is devotee is not variable, understand, to the Lord is not variable, and my brother also is a devotee to Ishwara. My uncle also is a devotee to Ishwara. Therefore, my relationship with my brother or uncle or cousin is not going to change the status of my being a devotee. Because basically I am a devotee and over and above the devotee I become a cousin. Over and above the devotee I become an uncle. I become a brother. I become a husband. I become wife. I become mother. I become sister. So that means what? Over and above a devotee, I play a role. And that means all other things, all other forms of relationship are variable. And the variable is filled and pervaded by the invariable always. Therefore, my being a devotee is not variable. My being a devotee is invariable no matter what kind of status I assume related to another person or a situation. Clear? I don't know. <laughs> so if it is clear, then there is so much will be clear. And so, so much, so much will be cleared, understand? If it is clear, so much will be clear. So this, if I am basically a devotee, an invariable, and everything else is over and above, and therefore, my whole lifetime is nothing but relating to the world. Living is nothing but relating. There is no living without really relating. That one can be alive without relating, but living implies relating. If living implies relating, definitely then the devotee is first coming out, and then afterwards the variable status of the devotee. Therefore, so the devotee is the one that fills up, it is like Satyam and Mithya. Same thing. Here at this level itself Satyam Mithya. 
This is what we say, Charanagati, etc. And it is perfectly correct. There is nothing wrong in that. So that level, we have to appreciate that level. Then only you become sane. This is because it's a reality. What is sanity? Is to have a grip over reality. That is called sanity. And this is sanity because there is a reality. And if you would duck to this reality, then we are going to bump into all kinds of situations. And therefore, this reality of my being a devotee is, is recognized by me. And in this recognition, I see myself, the devotee, playing different roles. And when a devotee plays different roles, definitely there is a cushion, there is a shock absorber. Because role playing means so following script. Following script means some pressure. And therefore, and the script is not always the same, it is not present sometimes and present too. And therefore, so in relating, there is nothing, if nothing is going to be always the same, it is going to be variable, sometimes to my liking, sometimes, sometimes to my disliking. And therefore, if you list all your problems, you will see that it is for the role the problems, problems are. As a father, you have problems. Mother, you have problems. As a husband, you have problems. As wife, you have problems. As, as as a daughter or son, your problems, as a citizen and so on, problems. All these problems belong to only the role, not to the devotee. The same. Now, if the devotee is not recognized, then the role becomes the person and variable. Therefore, from one problem to another, you switch. And therefore, life is but problems alone because so the role, one role to another role you go, but the role is not recognized as role because the basic invariable devotee is missed to be recognized. And therefore, so there is a role becomes person. I'm talking just at the individual level. Atma and all that we will see later. So this is purely as an individual. As I am right now. So this individual playing all these various roles, he is not recognized and his relationship, because he is a fellow, he is individual, he is related. Basically he is related to Ishwara. That is the person stated. That is the reality. If this reality is not recognized, then what happens? Then the role becomes the individual and there is no constancy in the role. Whole life is your, your. There is, there is a verse in Gita, you know, yo, yo, yam, yam. <laughs> and so, <laughs> and this yo, yo, it becomes in the sense that there is nothing constant. And you only move from problem to another. And from the frying pan to the fire itself. Then you somehow you come out of it as a, what do you call it? Thing? Thing? What is that? Phoenix? So that, that will come out of ashes? Phoenix. Phoenix. Yeah, as a phoenix. Phoenix is different. There is another one, phoenix. And so, you as a phoenix. To what? To get into again another frying pan. So this goes on and on. So this is what we call our daily life. And they want Vedanta in daily life. They ask me all the time, Swamiji, can you talk Vedanta on daily life? Where daily life is a problem. This is called daily life. Even as though there is some other life. This is daily life. There is a book also, Vedanta in daily life. 
and therefore life needs to be lived daily at a time. You know, <laughs> it's not that every weekly once you live. <laughs> That's good. So, he's role playing and the role playing is a problem. And so, this devotee is the one who cushions off all the bumping problem of the role. Because basically, I am unaffected. Your role becomes a role only when the invariable is recognized. Did I tell you about this? A, a man, yeah, I think talked about an actor coming on the stage, assuming the role of a beggar. Why I say because A is B, you know, A is B. In fact, B is A, the role of a beggar, B, actor A. So, Mr. A assumes the role of a beggar. And why beggar? Because there is also some advantage here. A beggar's role, nobody wants to assume in real life, you know. In, in real life, nobody wants to be a beggar. But a role, of course, one doesn't mind because he's going to be paid for it. He's going to be richer by being a beggar. And therefore, so willingly, Mr. Ye assumes the role of a beggar on the stage, undergoes all the problems that the beggar is subject to, and the script makes it very poignant. His sorrows and his privation are all too big, and this beggar suffers all of them, cries profusely, and begs, of course, and this guy, this beggar, and while doing all this, he is still, still okay. Remember the next line, when to split, when to be on the stage, all that the fellow knows. Why? Because he is not carried away. He can be very, very, very excessive in, in expressing his role, playing the role. He can bring real tears also from his eyes, identifying the role. At the same time, there is a cushion there. And so that gives him the space. I am talking about space, that space. He has got that space to what? to take those emotions, etc., identify with the role, identify with the relevant emotion, even he can move the glands, here, the tear glands, to shed some tears, and while shedding tears, the fellow is self-congratulated. That is called space, the inner space. Space means don't think that you require to create some space. If you think that you have to create, you have to create some space, you need not because there is enough space already. In fact, all <laughs> and therefore, so the space you need not create. This is the space of distance, a distance which is not physical, a distance born of understanding. And the distance can also sometimes be lost. He can be carried away by that particular script, but not completely, momentarily maybe, yes. That only makes him a good actor, but at the same time, that space is never lost because he has got self-identity. So this self-identity, he is there because he remembers the script. All that he remembers, that is all because he is not lost in that role itself. And therefore he can willingly play the role and remain unaffected by the loss of the role. Understand? And however unpleasant is the loss, pleasant also he is able to absorb, unpleasant also he is able to absorb. So this is something, this is the reality here at this level. And therefore, the recognition of yourself as a devotee, exactly what 
what establishes your bonding with Ishwara and to evoke that this decision then you cannot say look at this you cannot say when I think of my father I am son when I think of my son I am father when I think of the Lord I am devotee you cannot say if you say so you are calling him the Lord and you reduce him to the level of your uncle this is what is called this is what I say is what is happening in the world of devotees then they say religion is religion business is business and we have to be practical <laughs> Because his God is allowing you to be what you are. And therefore what I say, so this is, the, everything is, just we should keep everything separate. Don't mix religion with politics, don't mix the, uh, politics with religion, etc. It is, there is no such thing. The politicizing religion is a problem. But there is no such thing as mixing up with anything because, so it is, a person either he is a religious, he recognizes Ishwara, he is religious. That religious means that is what I call religious. The one who is recognizing himself to be a devotee with reference to Ishwara. He may call himself a Muslim or a Hindu or any, whatever. So that is, that is the, that is a person religious. And whatever he does should be religious will be religious because a religious person, the devotee is doing politics. He is in politics and therefore he is not politicizing religion. He is religi religiizing the politics. That's entirely different thing. And therefore it is a person as a whole. We have to this is to be understood because you are a whole person and you are, a, you are basically related to Ishwara, the devotee. And the devotee Ishwara relationship is free from all power. Because problems come from cutting and in love. And so, so not from Ishwara. For the devotee, there is no problem. But definitely, all these problems belong to the rules, and therefore the recognition of the devotee so cushion solve all the problems, and therefore I am not basically affected. I am not basically affected. And so, I am a devotee first and devotee last. But the problem is, whenever I pray to the Lord, I am a devotee. And at those moments when I don't pray, I am a prey. <laughs> to be affected by the world. And therefore, so that, that, that is a, that is a fact also. We have to accept that fact also. We have to acknowledge, we can't just uh, live in our own world of thought, belief that we are all, we are not like that. No, because when you think of Bhagavan, you are a devotee. And when you think of something else, you are not. But the reality should be, because it is so, that I am a devotee first and devotee last. Adav Bhaktaha. Ante Bhaktaha, Madhyabhi Bhaktaha, beginning devotee, later devotee, in between also devotee. In between while playing role, I am a devotee, while praying devotee, while playing role devotee, and not playing role again devotee. You stand now? And therefore, if this is the truth, if this is a truth, then how come that I become a spasmodic devotee? So, 
choose the devotee, I become because I come under the bout of devotion. Like a bout of fever and you get the devotion. Are Rama, Are Rama, Are Rama, the bout of devotion. <laughs> And so that so will I become a devotee, you know, occasionally. And so I have to be reminded of being a devotee for which I have to either chant something, I have to pray, say some good words or whatever, then only I'm a devotee. So that means I require to undergo a program of conversion. You know, the devotee is, 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 you know, is, a, is, is, is under the spell of convulsion. Now and then he becomes a devotee. And then you have to undergo a program of conversion. This, any program of conversion or acquiring skill, follows the same rule. When you don't know, you do it. The same thing as though you know it in order to know it. Like learning to, to ride a bike. This is typical, you know, the people from the West do not know this. They don't even understand that they learned to ride a bike. They don't even remember. Because they start when they are five and four and all that, they don't know. But here, growing up in, in a village, I learned to ride a bike when I was 16. That is very early. Because I have seen mamas learning bike. And with this, with this cloth is on the top, and the fellow has got a guru, and somebody brought a bicycle, his uncle brought a bicycle from the other village, and he went to the river for a bath, this fellow started to learn the bike, and he has got a guru, and the guru is behind the bike, and he gives him some instructions, as a guru does, and he gives instructions. And the instructions are, look right, don't bend. Just listen to this. So don't bend. Look right. And go on pedaling. I am behind you. When you go in the villages, you can see all these village roads, this fellow. He goes, he looks straight, and he goes on pedaling. And and he falls down. <laughs> the man behind, of course, he runs for some time and he does an approach. And he falls down. Then they, he complains to the Guru, why did you leave me? And he says, yes, I'm not a Guru to run behind you all your lifetime. <laughs> and therefore, <laughs> this is, therefore, this is, this, this, you have to do it. But why didn't you follow my instructions, Guru says. What? Didn't I tell you? Look right and don't bend. And the fellow says, I didn't bend at all. The whole cycle bent. So what? What can you do? Really, this whole, whole cycle, it, means, it looks as though the earth itself is bending that way. So that's how it looks. <laughs> because I had experienced all this. But that is the situation. Now, this, this Wahawar is going to, look at this one. You would never learn riding a bike without riding a bike. Period. You never learn cooking without cooking. And therefore, begin cooking. 
keep a few sympathetic people. <laughs> around you and begin cooking. That is the only way to learn cooking. You can't, you can't learn cooking digging, digging the dirt. You have to learn cooking only by cooking. No other way. There is no other way. That is why, you know, the wanted columns to read five-year experience. They ask, where will you get this five-year experience? Eh? Somebody has to give. This fellow says, you get experience at the cost of somebody else and come to me. This is just ridiculous. Where will he get that five-year experience? He has to get some five-year experience somewhere. And so this, you never get experience unless you begin working. Unless you work, you won't get experience. Unless you get experience, you won't get to work. And the work people, the employers themselves create the situation. And they put, there is no understanding. There is no they, These employers also do not have a heart, I tell you. No, the, there is nothing. They don't look into the practicality. And so these are all, this is how it is. You never, never learn anything without doing it. The problem is, unless you know, you can't do it. Unless you do it, you can't know it. Therefore, we have a very elaborate program of conversion here. The devotee, if you are, you can play any role and still be a devotee. If the devotee comes and goes, then we have to give for this devotee. We have full occasion. You create an occasion for the devotee to be pure and simple, unrelated to cousin, uncle, brother, sister, husband, wife, etc. Unrelated to all of them, there is a devotee connected to Easter. When does it happen? Then that devotee can pervade the husband, the wife, can pervade the father, mother, and because then because you are pulling the devotee and, and allow the devotee to be and you become familiar. I use this word all the time. You become familiar being a devotee. You become familiar being a devotee. Then the devotee can provide. Then the role is you are, you are called upon to play a role. And therefore, that program is you do an act of devotion. This is something very, very important. In all cultures, we have this, an act of, an act of respect, an act of love, an act of welcome. It is an act that action carries the emotion, the attitude. And that's when you give a flower to somebody. It is an act of friendship, an act of love. Is an action, but that action carries an emotion and attitude. If that act is removed, there is no, there, we don't know whether there is any emotion or not, whether it will come or not. You act it out. There is nothing that can substitute action. You must know this here. You cannot substitute action. So what action can do, nothing else can do. Therefore, an act of compassion alone will ensure for you the compassionate to An act of love will, will, will allow the loving to be. An act of friendship, an act of that is why we have forms in our, our culture. In, in, you know, in the Western culture, they have a very good thing. This is for a birthday, for Christmas. So they have what they call this gift exchange. 
It is a match. During the year, you might have picked up quarrels with all these people, whatever, and then putting the phone down. All this possible. So then comes Christmas. Then what happens? Then you pack up a nice gift, and then with all wrapped up in nice paper, and you send it. That is the time to settle all these accounts during the year. It is a beautiful act of friendship. Because when you wrap it up, you can't wrap up your anger there. You can't wrap up your, your what we call your hatred or dislike or anything. You can wrap up only that, that, that basic bondage that you have, that friendship, that love. That alone is wrapped up there. Nothing else is wrapped. the confirmation of what is already there to wrap that up and that is an excellent form this exchange is the exchange this is something that keeps them going really they should not give it up this is one thing that keeps them going this exchange of gifts on a birthday sending a card etc they are meticulous about it we don't know even when the birthday your own birthday you forget where is the question because our birthdays are variant. It is not English birthday. It is a star, birth star. And therefore this year it is on the, on, on, suppose on the 10th, next year on the 15th, and another year it will come next month, or the previous month. So this kind of a thing variable. Therefore it is not possible either. So when you go by that calendar, that solar calendar, this calendar, then it is easy. You can remember the day. The person may forget, others remember. It's an important thing. And they have a diary for that. Whose, whose birthday on which day they have a, They maintain that diary, they don't lose that diary. It's a very important diary. That's a, that's a culture. We can't maintain that. Indians, we cannot say that. We have our problems with that. We don't know. Because we have never done. Only one birthday we have. That was Aishwama, first year's birthday. Afterwards, we don't have birthdays. These birthdays are all modern days. Modern people may have something. The city people. The late people really don't know anything about birthday or anything. And Janman Nakshatra on that Nakshatra day, they will do some puja in the country. It may do. May do, may not. You ask for a village They don't do it or anything. So city people have got this birthday and all this. And so they have got another birthday, you have to wait, 61st birthday. Celebration. <laughs> that is a big celebration. So, one Uta, bro, 60 years ago now. First and 61st. But we have other forms. What I say, forms we have, various other forms. But this is a form. That's a form is so important in bringing out and confirming a particular emotion or an attitude and that's the form of worship is not there in ritualistic worship is not there in in the Christian culture only they have a oral prayer they don't have the ritualistic worship the devotees doing. No. The priest does once a week something. He also doesn't have daily worship. And therefore that ritualistic worship is kaya karma. It is important that karma is important ritualistic worship. That is what we call pujanam. Originally, it was Vaidikam Karma. It was an elaborate ritual with fire involved, mantras involved, oblations involved, and so deities involved. That's a different, different type, and that was simplified. Because it is a karma, and it can be substituted for the same result. So it can be substituted, and then it is substituted by Pujanam, Smarta Karma, it is called. And thus we have so substitution of Vaidika Karma so by this Puja. 
and that is kai kam karma that is the physical action there you are doing see you are moving your hand it is difficult to move your hand to then move your tongue you know you can say a few words but to move your hand and place your flower and that is not an ordinary thing place your flower and falling at the feet and etc creating an altar and then you yourself create the altar look upon it as the altar of the lord and then you do this puja all this is all possible only when you can look upon the any form as ishwara's form and any given form or a form that has come down to us in a certain way as a form of lord to invoke then in that particular form you invoke the lord you can invoke the lord and you can relate to the lord as a bhakta as a devotee this is what they call archa avatara so the archa archa means just a particular form in this particular form you invoke it is a consecrated shrine or you you consecrate avahe ami asmin bimbe you consecrate right away you just create something and then do like when ganavadi puja they do first they create an altar and do the puja then afterwards it is asanam for the tapya the temporary altar created kaam ho gaya you walk over and there's wali in in the uh, in the ramayana that wali so this sugrivas sugrivas brother this wali used to daily do shiva puja from kishinda he will go to he will go to the sister and then on the sister he will create a linga out of out of this sand sand linga and he will do this puja elaborate puja he will do and afterwards he will make this you know linga disturb the linga and then and then bring that you know sea water and then wipe it off please there is no there is no more there is no more that linga to be worshiped this every day he used to do then wali you create a linga and then they did to do the puja and they destroy the linga and that you can create a temple and daily you can do the same simple you go and then offer worship or you create an altar you worship but there is such a thing as a ritualistic form of relating in other words physical action you act it out so this is this is also we can say you are taking and making need not be taking but definitely making because you may have a small little degree of devotion to move your hands so you require some will also if that if devotion is there hands are moved automatically if devotion is not there adequate then will the will moves the hand you have to do it come on please so the will moves the hand and therefore a small devotion and the will and they together they can move the hands and offer a flower and then later what happens is the devotion that does it because the devotee is already up therefore you only discover the devotee in you by being a devotee by practicing devotion you know by practicing devotion means what allow that devotee full play full action to express himself and if he doesn't express himself to so do such actions which are supposed to be the expressions of a devotee like even swimming you do such actions that should make you a swimmer and then what happens that that in the process the devotee is out and therefore the thai kam karma then of course vachi kam karma then manas kam karma all the three So the puja and and the prayer, word verbal prayer and mantra. So all the three, you will find all the three. So in any in any place, all the three are involved. Even in one ritualistic puja, in this puja, all the three are involved. Really. Little bit of this, little bit of this, and lot more act.
in parayana course mind and walk in meditation surely mind all the three or one leading to the other all of these are important and this is the program of conversion and in order that the devotee is personal we will see this in the next year om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnamevavashishyate om shanti 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 hari om shri gurubhyo namaha hari om